This is Oklahoma Zone News 9. The Oklahoma River may look different towards the end of the year when a major project gets underway. It's happening in November. We went down to Riversport OKC to find out how they're going with the flow. It gets busy this time of year. Activities help beat the heat. But when the heat gives way to a fall chill. It's the least active time of year. The activity will be much more draining. You open the dam and the water goes. Draining the river, that is. In the name of progress, yes, all the way down to, to, to the mud, yes. Riversport Executive Director Mike Knopp says that progress comes from a city project. MAPS 4 will be bringing a new pedestrian bridge to the river, and so they'll be putting in the foundations for that bridge, which will actually connect to the Okana Resort. That's the resort under construction by the First Americans Museum and the starting line for the 2,000 meter rowing race. It give a really great place for people to watch the start. They're gonna be putting in these piers that go into the river bottom. It's much, much easier to do all of that when the river is down. It's also easier to build the proposed dock and inlet for a river cruiser. But it will be a challenge moving the rowers that normally never leave the water. From November to March, the water leaves them. It'll be a change of scenery and, and we'll make it work. A muddy foundation shows Kanab a clear vision. We're really excited about the synergy between Okana, the First Americans Museum, River Sport, downtown. It's really going to be an unbelievable destination. We just look forward to seeing how it all connects together. Those year-round rowers from UCO, OCU, and the High Performance Program will move to Lake Overholster or Exchange Boathouse. Canop says no annual events will be canceled, but the dates will, of course, be moved. It's going to be November 15th through March 15th. That's the estimated date that they're going to be start okay. working. Okay.